Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while. I haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks, but today we are getting our new ragdoll kitten. So I thought I'd vlog for you guys. Um, I don't know if you do know, but one of our um, ragdolls sadly got run over three months ago. Um, and that was such a hard thing. That was Ragnar. Um, I did do a vlog all about bringing him home and everything. Um, I did mention that in like one of my videos um, two months back or so. Um, and yeah, it's been really hard without him. And it's just been Henry. Um, we have been playing with him lots and giving him lots of attention. But he's been like really lonely and he's been more vocal like meows a lot and he always wants to go outside because we've blocked off the section so he can't like go out onto the road um so he's like adjusting to that but we've been playing with him lots to make up for it but yeah he's been meowing lots and then he like waits under you can see out the window like i've blocked off under the fence but he um looks under the fence and then there's the neighbor's cat and they like play together under the fence and he like meows for it it's so sad so i was like i think it's time to get another ragdoll and give him a friend um because ragdolls strive with more than one kitten and i'm not Ragdolls strive with more than one cat and I'm not going to let them outside. I've learned from that mistake. It's really sad because we live in a quiet subdivision so I thought that would never happen but I've seen we've got like this Facebook group page and there's a few others that have said that that's happened to their cats and I've seen like maybe three cats so far like die on these these roads and there's heaps of cats gone missing so I've definitely learned from that they are not going outside ragdolls are meant to be inside cats anyway but my cats just absolutely loved it outside and they're always so happy and I thought it was a safe area but I thought too soon obviously um, and now that was too late so to protect Henry I've kept him in the section but anyway today we're driving to Auckland so it's a two and a half hour drive for us and we are picking up a blue point female i've never owned a girl cat obviously ragnar and henry were both boys but i thought maybe a girl would be good because i thought they'd be like catty and a little bit like sassy but people say every cat is different and i made sure this one was affectionate and playful and apparently she really is and she sent videos of her licking and purring really loudly and she likes pets and stuff so i thought oh my gosh that's like so good um, she likes belly rubs um if you don't know like ragdolls are really different to normal cats they're more so like dogs and they're really placid um they do tricks they can play fetch they can play hide and seek honestly they're crazy and they're so cool um, they're not crazy they're really docile they don't mind tummy rubs they're called ragdolls because they like rag out like they just flop when you pick them up um and yeah, they're more so like dogs, and I love cats. I'm like so obsessed with cats. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Um, this person seems really nice. Um, she is a registered breeder from Auckland, and we made sure that we got a ragdoll that was HCM and PKD tested negative, which is really important, which is the heart and kidney disease because it's quite common in ragdoll lines, so you have to make sure that they don't have that tested for in their bloodlines, so you can actually get... Um, um, their mum and dad tested for that and if they're negative then it means that their offspring will be negative as well well most likely will be there's still chances that it could be but way less likely of a chance um so yeah they tested against that she's really healthy she just got d6 last thursday breeders seem to do that because um they obviously don't want you like breeding them off um and stuff um and it's good to get them d6 it makes them more like placid and not so like crazy and and stuff um even though it does seem quite young but that's just how it goes um so yeah we're gonna drive and i'm gonna pick her up and hopefully she settles in nicely um obviously in the beginning we're gonna have to keep her in my beauty room um like we did with ragnar and henry when they first came so we wouldn't have had to but because henry is a cat they're gonna get adjusted to each other they can't just be shoved together straight away so she's gonna have to get used to us in the beauty room and used to that space and then we open up new rooms for her to see and then experience the house and then we get her to meet henry but we'll see how confident she is it depends on like the confidence of the cat ragnar was different he just like came out straight away came out the cat cage 
dominated everything. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see the cat's journey. Um, we haven't even named her yet. I'm still like thinking of a name. That was like Ragnar though. I didn't name him until like a few days after. Um, and we named Henry straight away because he was named after my Opa, Henry Kiss. I could name her after my Oma who passed away last year, but her name's Wilhelmina. So I don't know. <laughs> That's also my middle name. Mina? Willa? I don't, I don't know. Even that's a nice name, Willa. I don't know. It's a hard one to choose names, but anyway, like this video if you want to see um, following along our journey with the kittens, and I will see you soon. We just got the kitten. Um, her eyes are very blue. There's Beck. <laughs> we hung out with Becca for a little bit, had some lunch at St. Luke's. Matthew's driving. Um, and the kitten's there in the cage. She looks a little bit scared um, and she meowed a few times and she was like up in my neck and um, Becca had a little hold and she is shaking a little bit. She's a little bit scared but she's so cute and she's so soft. But yeah, she reminds me of Henry but a grey face, grey tail and grey paws and she's got quite a, quite a white body like Henry so yay, I can't wait. We're just at Becca's flat now. <laughs> Here she is. She's so cute. She meowed a few times. Where's Jenny? Becca's holding her. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she likes that. She's like, oh, look, she's so loving. We are finally home. It was nice spending a bit of time with Becca. Becca got to have a hold. So here's my beauty room. You've probably seen my beauty room on my makeup tour or my house tour videos. I'm very proud of this room. Very cool. Um, so we've set up the little cat litter down there. I've already had a cat tower in here. Um, and then we've got a little box there. And then she's in there. Got some toys down there. Um, food and water and the blanket. So I'm about to let her out. So you have to do this really slowly. And she is staying in this room for seven days. And then I slowly introduce her to the other rooms of the house. And then we don't get her to meet Henry until like another two weeks or so until she's like familiar with the house and when she explores the whole house we don't have Henry there and then we introduce Henry like to her smell by like giving Henry like her blanket or something she's been lying on so he's like introduced even though he'll like go up to this beauty room door and like wonder what's that meowing or like see her under the door I don't know he, he's so intelligent he'll know um but yeah we're gonna keep her in this room for seven days, gonna keep visiting her all the time, get her familiar with us, and then, yeah, I'm excited. She's just in the cage, she's so quiet. She's not meowing at all. When we brought Henry home, he was meowing the whole car ride home from Ahawiti and Tauranga. Um, so that's like a 30 minute drive. Um, but we drove nearly three hours. She was quiet as ever. She only meowed when the owner gave her to me and she meowed. And then my sister's flatmate, um, she had a little hold. And she meowed when her flatmate gave her back to me. Oh, get him out. So we've just put her down on the floor and she's exploring this corner. It doesn't help that she can probably smell Henry and Ragnar all over this cat towel. She's sniffing away. But um, I put her in the toilet straight away because um, we've been in the car all day. Otherwise, I would have let her come out on the from the cat cage on her own. Um, yeah, I just thought maybe she needed to go toilet. I put the cage there with the door open in case she wants to go back in there for comfort. But, um, the breeder didn't give us any familiar, like, blanket or toy or anything, so she's been put in the deep end. <laughs> she's smelling everything. It doesn't help there's smells on everything, like the cat tower, the ball, the litter tray. I have cleaned that whole litter tray, but cats are so good at smelling, she can probably still smell some old scent on it. She's curious, but she's a bit nervous. It's funny because when we got Ragnar, he was like purring and kneading and nudging and like exploring so confidently. She seems a bit more confident than Henry. Henry just stayed in his cage for ages and slowly made his way out after a few hours. Apparently she's really playful and really affectionate. She must be hungry. <laughs> Matthew left her a food trail. It's good that she's um, accepting food straight away. That's a good sign. I think she's a good in-between. Henry was more shy when he was little. Ragnar was overly confident and she's like a good in-between. Like she's scared, but she's still curious and wanting to explore. She's in the cat tower. She's been playing this 
with this little red string for a little bit. We've been um, dragging it across the floor for her. I'm speaking really quietly just so she's not too like um, frightened. She's so good, she like wants to play but she forgets that she's meant to be scared. Apparently she's really playful. We worked out um, her birthday's on the 1st of April so she's only about 10 weeks old. Matthew put her in the towel by the way, she didn't go on there herself but she looked, oh, she might come out of it. Oh, get it! Oh no. Ready? Boing! <laughs> yeah, I wonder if she'll work out how to get down. Get it! She was starting to explore around and she's been playing with this yellow ping pong ball. So she's explored this whole area and she managed to get like behind me and kind of around this area but she hasn't been like in any of those areas. Um, but yeah, she ate a little bit of um, pellets from the bowl and she's starting to play. She's really like cautious so she's like looking around everywhere a million miles a minute. But um, she wants to like play and I've been pulling this like little red string here and she like See, she like wants to play, but then she forgets she's like scared. It's so funny. I think we're going to name her Mina. Um, and it's quite cute. You can nickname like Mimi or Mean Means or Means. Um, because Uma, her name was Wilhelmina. She passed away last year, sadly. But um, Henry's named after my Opa, which is Henry Kiss. And that's his like Dutch name. And Uma is Wilhelmina. And that's actually my middle name. Um, so I was like, well, if we've named Henry after my Opa, we should name this one after my Opa, because this one's a girl. Um, and Mina's quite cute. She's starting to explore around. You can tell she's going to be quite confident. She's like really smelling everything. Like I said, it doesn't help that everything's got such a smell on it. She's quite confident because this now is her safe spot over there. She was lying in the cacti for ages, but that over there and under there is like her safe space. It's not even in the cage anymore, even though she came in that. But um, yeah, the breeder didn't give her like any comfort blanket or anything. So she's got her safe corner and she like goes exploring and then she goes back to a safe corner and then she goes exploring and then she goes to a safe corner. So yeah, I'm gonna play with her for another minute or just be here in her company. Um, oh, she meowed. She's slowly starting to explore other areas of the room. She really likes that ping pong ball. Um, oh, that yellow one down there. She's been playing with it. Um, I'm going to go to bed. It's getting quite late. Henry was at the door apparently and flopping and smelling and sniffing. I do know they have a good sense of smell, but um, I don't know if he knows yet. But I think he's going to be quite excited to know he's got a friend. Hey everyone, I just woke up. I know I look gross, but I don't care. Um, we've just come in and she's done a wee in her little box, which is good. And she's like, like all of her palettes nearly. Um, it looks like she's been playing with like the blanket and the ball because they're like all scrunched up and the ball's like rolled away. And she's under her safe spot under the cat tower and she did a little meow. Mina's been really quiet, so I don't know if Henry knows, but he's getting suspicious why I'm in here all the time with the door closed, so. And look at that, you can tell when they've pissed. We use the um, pine litter, you can tell they've pissed when like there's a little patch of it that's like powdery. So she's gone and look how much food she ate. Oh my gosh. She's starting to play with Matthew. She's um she's very expressionate with her paws. When she goes to pounce, she like lifts the paw up. It's so cute. <laughs> she's so adorable. I so can't wait for Henry to meet her, but we have to wait. I think he's very curious though. And over there's still her safe spot under the cat tower, but she's coming out and she's getting used to <clears throat> used to playing and she's getting used to our voices because before yesterday she was scared whenever we spoke. So funny before she seen herself in the mirror and like did that sideways up here kind of thing because she's probably never seen a mirror so low down. She's starting to get more confident. We've been in here for like half an hour and she's starting to like walk around us now. I'm seeing the mirror. Oh look, she's getting more comfortable. She's gonna know Matthew's the playful one. The playful dada. <laughs> oh god, she hasn't been over, I haven't seen her go over there before. She's exploring your water bottle. 
so she's not as scared now of sudden moves and stuff. So I feel like if we stay in here for longer and have a good play, she'll start to be a bit more confident. But I'm already seeing her confidence come out in the time we've been in here now. She's starting to play lots and get more confident. And she's like coming closer to us and stuff. And she's pouncing and wiggling. <laughs> we've been in here for like half an hour so far. She's getting way more playful and she's going over to her like safe spot less. She'll like keep coming out. We have to get her stitches out in another week in her belly because she got D6 last week. So yes, we have to go and do that. And she's due for her worm and flea treatments next week as well. So I'll do that all together at the vet. She's getting so much more playful and confident, which is so cool. I think Henry definitely knows that we've got a kitten now. He's been under the door and smelling hard out and meowing. So yes, he knows. Um, <laughs> but we're not going to show him her properly until another week. Yay, look how playful she is. He. Yeah. <laughs> She's so funny and playful. <laughs> oh my god, yay! She just hopped in her little box and she's digging. So she's such a good girl. I think she's going to wear it. This is so good because with Ragnar, he used to have um, accidents all the time. He used to shit everywhere and piss everywhere, and it was such a big problem. But I don't know if it's because, like, we just let him do whatever straight away and he was super confident and he wasn't ready for that yet like he explored the lounge oh she's weeing she is getting so confident she literally did a shit in the other box and then she ran around and then she's run up this cat tower and now she's at the top so she's starting to explore this is only after me being in here for an hour and she's already broken the mouse off the cat tower i don't know how strong that was but um oh my gosh please don't attempt that Oh my gosh. She is confident, man. She's already going up to new heights. <laughs> this cattail's like, oh, this cattail's like the perfect size for her, but she just like didn't even climb up the ladder. She like climbed up the side. Um, so that's so good. And she's meowing more. I don't know if it's because she's calling for her mum and her siblings, but Henry will definitely know now that she's becoming more vocal. It just means she's more confident. And she's getting familiar with the room. She needs to be a bit playful and a little bit feisty to put up with Henry. Because <laughs> Henry's two, two years and two months old. So, yeah, she needs to keep up with him. <laughs> she seems so confident already. And I've only been in here for like an hour and a half. But it's just, it's working. Because she's getting used to my noise and me moving. And she's not so scared. And she's like, um playing heaps and she's not going back to a play corner over there look at this she's <laughs> this is good oh my gosh matthew's gonna get back from the gym and be like that is a lot of progress hey guys so it is day three of having mina at our house i know i look a lot better it's because i've actually got makeup on um, i've been doing a lot of tiktok content today some makeup tutorials and also pia boutique like an outfit post um but anyway Mina's doing really well today she was really vocal um when I was trying to do my makeup tutorials maybe it's because I was here in the room with her and just like getting ready and then I didn't like play with her so I got Matthew to play with her at the same time as I was filming it is so hard like holding this big camera but check out this cool jacket this one was for Maru it looks so cool I really love it, it looks like Louis Vuitton or something and then I'm just wearing these jeans we're just going out for dinner tonight and then my top is from White Fox Boutique so she's just been over here on this cat tower she's been snoozing look how small she is oh she's all tucked up she's so cute back to seeing Mina she had a big sleep today um I just picked her up and she was purring and she was like snuggling into me um, so that was really cute to hear a purr. Apparently she has really loud purrs, so I got a snippet of that. It means she feels safe and happy. Oh, this is a good view of her and her eyes, like, because when I film in here it's so dark, but, um, it's kind of alright lighting up here. She just woke up. She likes sleeping in this little, um, 
tunnel here. Aww. I need to clean out her eyes. She's really vocal this morning. She was on top of the um, cat tower and she was purring and wanting a few cuddles, but now I think she's wanting to play. She's so cute. She ate lots of her food again. I topped that up last night. There's not much in there. Gosh, she's a good eater. Mina, what you doing? Cute. She loves her belly rubs and her bum scratches. Oh, look how cute she is. So cute. He means. See, she lets me pet her now. And look, if I scratch her bum, she'll raise her bum. Oh, she didn't do it that time. Hey guys, it is officially day four, or you could say day three and a half, considering we bought her home like Thursday night. She's still a little bit scared, um, and I'm trying to follow the tips online that I've read, um, just because our last two boys obviously were much more confident. Henry was a little bit scared, like it did take him a whole day, but it, like he wasn't scared to approach us or anything. She's still scared to like approach us and um, she's a little bit, I guess she's younger, she's only 10 weeks old and she's um, like a girl, like it could be different and all cats are different. She's very vocal, like whenever I come in the room, like she doesn't meow when I'm not in the room but when I come in the room she meows a lot and um, she like, she's like meowing when she's eating and meowing when she's going toilet, meowing looking around the room. Um, so I don't know what that is, like why she's doing that for, but yeah, she, um, we're just gonna play with her more today and I'm not gonna introduce her to other areas of the house until she's like comfortable with me at least. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that in another vlog maybe, like her so I'm not going to do that in today's vlog. I know you guys probably would have wanted to see that, but she's taking a little bit longer than we anticipated. And it says that some cats can take days or even like two weeks, or some can take weeks. I don't think she'll take that long, but um, yeah, some can take longer than the others. So obviously this vlog will just be like us introducing her to the room and playing with her for a little bit and then I might do another vlog in another week or two on her being introduced to Henry. So obviously by that time she would have like explored the house and stuff um and then we'll get her to meet henry yeah i guess it'll take her a while mina she's playful but like yeah she's still a little bit scared and she meows 24 7. <laughs> when i'm in the room that is good for going toilet though she's really well toilet trained despite her being scared and stuff she's starting to come up to me and stuff i didn't realize that this probably didn't help, but like all the cat tower and everything in here probably smells like cats. So that's probably adding to her anxiety, which I didn't even think of. And we had Ragnar's ashes like sitting up there on the cat tower for a long time. But everything will smell like cat, like even this white, um, this white rug and the floor and like the cat tower and even like the cat litter tray, the bowl, like everything will smell like cat. Oh my gosh, Henry was just meowing under the door. I think he definitely knows now that there's a cat in here. Um, he was meowing and the kitten's like wondering what that sound is. She's like at the door now. Um, oh no. <laughs> He's definitely gonna know. Mina is now existing. So as you can see here, she like lifts her bum up, which is really cute. That's what Ragnar used to do. She's now meowing. It's okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> she always does this belly roll. It's so funny. She's got to get her stitches out on her tummy next week. So yeah, obviously I'll do another vlog in another week or two when Henry gets introduced to her and I'll show you like how she is like around the house and stuff and how she is in another week or two. I think that makes it more exciting if you've watched this video and then you can follow on along to the next video and see how far she's come. So yeah she's doing good overall she's doing well she's gained more confidence she's not so scared over little noises she's coming closer to us she accepts a pet um and she's really playful oh and she's meowing as soon as i stop playing with her as soon as i stop playing with her she meows oh my gosh she is crazy <laughs> I think she's ready for a sleep. Oh, I'm just meowing at the same time. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. What does wrong mean her? You're so crazy. I'm not going to film too much longer. I'm going to end the vlog here. Like I said, I'll upload another video. Um, oh my gosh, she always meows when I stop playing with her. Which is a good sign. It means she's like enjoying my company. Can you hear that? Oh. Mina. She is literally crazy. Hopefully she does come down a little bit once she's less scared and more comfortable with us. Because <laughs> just to match Henry's energy, otherwise he's going to have a run for his buck. <laughs> um, anyway, I will see you guys later. Please let me know down below in the comments if you guys have a rag doll and how you are getting along with them. And if you have a new rag doll, ask for any tips or advice down below in the comments. I would love to answer your questions. Because after having now three rag dolls, I feel like I'm pretty onto it with them and how to look after them and how to settle them in um so yeah i'll show you another video in another week or two so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it would mean so much to me upload every monday at 8 a.m new zealand time i hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you in my next week's video bye say bye Yay, now she's lying next to me and she seems really comfortable in my company. This is such good progress. She's such a loud purr too. Hey, Mina. Aww. Oh, this is so cute. I'm so glad I just captured that on camera. She's just come to lie on me and she's purring away. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I had to film this on my phone camera just in case I didn't get it. Oh, she's so cute. She's like, come to lie on me. I'm just sitting here on my computer chair. Good progress, Amy. Now. She's got like a playful schizo side, but then she's also got such a sweet, loving side. I'm glad you like seeing this on camera. Oh, she's purring. And she was probably just going schizo because she was like so scared. Like scared of the room and scared of where she was and not like used to us yet. But I've literally been in this room for three hours, haven't left, and it's got it's good progress so far. Say bye, Mina. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog now. I thought I'd end off the vlog on a good note. Um so yeah, see you guys.